What's up, guys? <laughs> we're back here with another reaction. Today, we need to react to Honest Trailers, The Flash. Man, I went to watch this movie. I went to see it, and I watched the trailer and everything. And I was telling myself that this movie is going to be a banger because the trailer looks so dope. But I, I was really disappointed. You know, I, I was in the movie. I was like, man, what the hell am I watching? Man, this is not the same trailer that I saw, and I expected something better. You know, it's just like, oh my God, I, I was really disappointed. And I just hope like Warner Brothers, like for the next movie, they, they, they do it. I hope they do a better job because I don't know what's going to happen with DC. If they keep um, doing like shady movies like this, I'm just saying for me, it was really shit. It was really bad, terrible, but let's see what honest trailers think. About the the honest trailer. Check out the educational song we made to help memorize the names of all the that guy character actors. Christopher <laughs> McDonald Shooter McGavin is right on the tip of your tongue. But if it's an evil breakfast club principal, that guy's name is Pugly Son. Link in the description below. <laughs> Do the flash, please. It's time for the flash. You've seen Ezra Miller star. Yeah, in Ezra Marfa Miller. Fights. Restraining orders, grooming Bro. allegations, felony burglary. This guy here, Ezra Miller, if you look at him, you look like, oh, this guy may have some problems, you know, like he has some uh, mental problems or something like that. Because look at this picture, man. If I see this guy in the street, I probably wouldn't recognize him. I would know that this guy that is the same guy who played the Flash. So <laughs> it just looks like uh, a random person and it could be just walking the street and... <laughs> I want to tell that I was I want to tell that that's him, you know, because oh man, his acting was just like oh my god, terrible for me. For me, it was really terrible. Um, especially the Barry, Barry Allen's number two. It was just like oh my god, can somebody shut that guy up? Three and <laughs> choke slam videos. Did you want to fight? Is that the deal? Oh, now, shit. see the film that dares you to wonder what dirt Ezra has on Warner Brothers because right. this is basically a confession tape. You should seek the services <laughs> of a mental health Oh, yeah, professional and, and this scene about the babies, too? Oh, my God. Yet. Trust me. The Flash. Before James Gunn hmm. reboots the DC Cinematic Universe for the sixth time? Seventh? Right. I lost count. Limp to the finish line with this colossal screw up, all about <laughs> a colossal screw up. But I am pretty obnoxious. That's burned through directors like the weed on Ezra's ranch, where they yeah. found a one year old with a bullet in her mouth. Allegedly. Problem and child, the problem concept child. Of the multiverse, about 10 years too late to be interesting. He's going to save the multiverse. Yeah, with the <clears throat> concept of the multiverse, you know, the multiverse is, is something that you could use just the multiverse plot. And you can make so many movies, so many good movies. But I don't know why Warner Brothers cannot make a good movie using this concept of the multiverse. Because I'm, I bet you, like with with Marvel, um, with MCU, with the uh, with the multiverse theory, all this stuff. They, they, I'm sure they're gonna make good movies with using the multiverse theory, um, or plot. So I don't know, like with with DC and Warner Brothers and all that, it's just oh my god, like they can't they can't seem to make good movies, especially like the, the comedic uh, comedic parts, you know, like oh, the jokes are just terrible, man. I mean, I know like Spider Man and MCU, and, and like I said, the Flash is supposed to be funny characters and stuff like that, but man, I just don't like the fact that when they're trying to make them over funny, you know, like too much funny that he makes the movie even you know looks bad. Uh, worse than it than it's supposed to be you know it just uh i just hope like they can find a way to make the jokes you know fit perfectly and and not over exaggerated and stuff like that so i don't know if you guys get what i'm trying to say but for me movies like that like nowadays i, I go watch movies and and it's every movie is now even if it's supposed to be like a serious type of movie um it's just trying to make some some jokes in there like throw some jokes just to make people laugh but sometimes i i'm, I'm sitting right at the, at the theater and nobody's laughing so because the jokes are not working, you know? So if I could just make a movie and, and don't worry about the jokes, you know, it just make jokes that, you know, that that's it, not too much. And, and that's not, that's not, you know, um, make the people look like, what the fuck are we watching, you know? So I'm just saying like, make a movie that looks nice, 
nice nice that 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 that's so good for people to enjoy and, and this and, and once once they get out they'll be like okay oh i want to see more that's that's just what i think yeah man in the multiverse there are an infinite number of people who know peter parker is spider-man concerning the fate of every single world of our infinite multiverse <laughs> the warner yeah. brothers serververse that's almost self-aware about how sloppy and stale the concept is <laughs> yeah 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 it is the hot mess but that won't stop them from using it to defile the corpse of some legends to make a quick buck. Making fun of some it's legends. <laughs> to make you lose faith in humanity. Yeah. yeah. Oh, faith restored. Let me see. The Flash becomes worst box office flop in superhero movie history. Damn. Man. See what? See that, man? This is why this movie left me feeling. I was like, man, this movie was, was sh I mean, I don't know if you're just going to. It was, sh it was bad. <laughs> this movie was bad. It was terrible, man. I don't know. This is not what I expected when I went to watch a movie. I, I thought I was like, I'm gonna see Batman, man. Batman's my guy. I'm gonna see Supergirl, even though I wanted to see Henry K, you know, Henry, the Witcher guy. That's who I went to see. But Supergirl did a part. And and I was like, I'm gonna see the Flash. The Flash, I still need to finish um watching um that uh CW uh show, which is on Netflix the, about the Flash. But I was like, I'm gonna go see the Flash and and came out disappointed but rare w humanity rare w what do you do when your star goes on a massive crime spree cast them <laughs> twice wait that can't yeah. be right three times what is going on barry allen one is a whiny little oh yeah really whiny really whiny and i'm starving and curly hair girl isn't here and her name is sarah and she has a boyfriend <laughs> you hear that that's my stomach. But after his mom is murdered by someone, I guess Barry, who works in a forensic crime lab, didn't bother to check in. Oh yeah, he works in a forensic lab, crime lab. How come he didn't check anything about his mom's death? I mean, that's some stuff they left behind right there. That's crazy stuff, you know? Like, like what happened to this? <laughs> On that part, he'll reverse time and meet Barry Allen too, where growing up with two parents somehow made him more obnoxious. Oh man, these guys, this guy, his laugh, like, like this is what I'm talking about, his laugh, man, made me want to like, leave the fucking movie theater, because I couldn't take him, I was like, can somebody shut this guy up? Shut him up. Because this guy was laughing in a way that would make anybody just, you know, start feeling irritating. So I was like, okay, Come on, man. At least try to act a little better and make you laugh a little funnier because it wasn't funny at all. <laughs> oh my god. Sound like a fucking chicken, man. Like a chicken, like laughing, you know. <laughs> and whiny. <laughs> Great. Yeah, really yeah. Funny. And Both of them were whinies. My day. What is this, hell? Now I'm probably gonna have to move. Why is it so cold? It's the Arctic, Barry. Okay, and the space giant and Mistress Murder hmm. are our responsibility too. I was just doing my laundry. You're the one who came and told me hmm. that I'm a superhero. What are you doing? Would you stop whining? And <laughs> gross. Oh, shit. It's a bit more loose. Yeah. It hurts. <laughs> you know where it hurts? my dick okay was grant gustin that unavailable right so christopher Plummer. <laughs> now wait but this is not a joke but this is if he had weird out playing the flash at least at least for the barry allen number two just the joke the joke parts you know just having like make the jokes all that stuff i think he would have done a better job just use cgi to make him a little, a little, a little bit younger because this Barry number two oh my god i couldn't take it no more i just want to mean <laughs> I mean, a good thing he died in the movie because I was going to be like, oh my God, this guy cannot be alive. But, you know, it's just, uh, it's just me. It's just me. I, uh, I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted a better acting, you know, so. But Barry's not alone. And thank goodness, because two and a half hours of this would be a war crime. You yeah, yeah. stop talking. It's not charming. It's abrasive and exhausting. Michael Keaton is back as a very 71-year-old Batman. This might hurt. When he's not playing the hits with all the enthusiasm of Smash Mouth at a county fair. I'm Batman. How about you, Wei? You wanna get nuts? Wanna get nuts? Let's, Let's get, get nuts. nuts. They're dressing him up like Rosie the Riveter <laughs> and making him eat <laughs> repeatedly. Oh, man. <laughs> 
which is a weird choice for a film that clearly wants to be a Batman movie instead. Right. You can even go full Clooney tunes at the <laughs> oh, end. Oh yeah, I was surprised about this. <laughs> I like that he's banished to the Batman and Robin verse now. That feels <laughs> earned. Cool party. <laughs> when Barry forgets that General Zod attacked the day after he got his powers, shift gears right. into a Supergirl rescue mission. Briefly. <laughs> Sasha Cow comes to save the day, both in the movie. I think Sasha did a, uh, you know, a good job. At least an okay job for a part. Um, but I don't know. It just, it just, uh, Flash just made the movie a little bit for me. Um, kind of, kind of ruined it a little bit for me. Oh, oh, for most people. So I, I don't know. And they made Batman looks a little, a little weak. Um. This bad man character that made him look kind of like sh shitty. Movie and outside of it, since Ezra was presumably locked in the WB water tower for the entire <laughs> press tour, in this brand new take on a Kryptonian, a grim, tortured soul who questions whether humanity is even worth fighting for. <laughs> oh, right. Well, this that's time, my guy right here. That's my guy. Grip, so it's even grimmer. The infant did not survive. <laughs> So strap in for a mostly animated film <laughs> that looks like it was rendered on a GameCube <laughs> with the least realistic baby since Clint Eastwood's prop guy took a sick day <laughs> featuring monstrous digital stand-ins. My guy! <laughs> Huge balls of ghoulish fan service for 40-year-olds and the first yeah. Hollywood action climax set entirely on a Halo 3 map. You know, I'm starting to think all of Warner Brothers is an elaborate tax write-off now. Like the producers. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the producer Warner Brothers, man. Warner Brothers, man. with a flop than he could with a hit. Or Infinity Train, or Bad Girl, or <laughs> Phase 5, or... Starring... Let's go. The perks of being a wall facer. <laughs> beers, beers, uh, beers. Naked and afraid. <laughs> Fade him perfectly, bro. Let's do the time warp again. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Something to do with Flash, I think. Been there, done that. I am Sasha Fierce. Sasha Fierce. Nap before Zod. <laughs> what exactly would you say it is you do here? E2 Mama, I'm dead. <laughs> West, side story. <laughs> Superman, the quest to rest in peace. Face looks off. Looks more like Tarzan, your boy Nicola Cage. Alga cameo. Curry worst, <laughs> and this is what a two hundred million dollar movie looks like now. I guess. Boy, this this cost is two hundred million and look like a piece of crap. <laughs> I'm just saying. The flop. <laughs> Great title for this movie. Should be called the flop. If the three flop. flashes, three Batman, four Kryptonians, Aquaman, yep. and Wonder Woman can drive ticket sales, Warner Brothers is gonna need a new hero to save the box office. Yeah. Come on, yep. Barbie. They gotta do some, man. They gotta do some. Warner Brothers, you. Gotta do some, you know, save franchise, save DC because the Flash didn't work. <laughs> the Flash, this movie didn't work at all. Let's go party. Bingo. Thanks for watching. And if you've made it this mm -hmm. far, why not keep the party going with our musical guide to all the best that guy character actors? Click the thumbnail <laughs> on the right to watch now. Spy. All right, guys. Let me know if you guys were disappointed as, disappointed as, as I as I did um, watching this movie. Um, if you did, then let me know in the comment. If not, let me know why you like this movie. I'll catch you up in the next one. Oh.